Well, I kind of jumped ahead here. Uh, I got the two new discs in the front disc, hub facing forward, the back disc, the hub facing backward, and I'll call it the pressure plate here. It's a little tricky because you got to hold those springs in there, and they're pretty tiny and easy to pop out. I don't know if you can see them in there or not. It's a little spring right across here. And I got these clamps on here to hold to this, just to hold the spring. I'm just trying to calculate. Obviously, it's engaged now with a little pressure. So it only needs to come out, I don't know how far, to be disengaged. So I'm trying to calculate how many shims to start off with. Uh, I think if I measured correct, there's about a quarter inch worth of shims on there now. All the, on all three points. So, I guess you just put it together and add shims if you need them. Problem is, I think you got to put the pumpkin back on so you can adjust your PTO lever so it pops in and out at a certain poundage. So it's getting kind of funky. I might quit for the day. I don't know. We'll see.